Hello, and how are you doing on today? I pray that all is well with you. Today will be the last section uh, in the lesson titled, There is Beauty in the Struggle. You know, we are living in some crazy times. And I thought that this lesson was very timely because the name of it is uh, Fear Comes to Destroy. You know, there are so many crazy things going on in the world today. Just craziness, you know, with, uh, you know, we're trying to come up out of this pandemic uh, with the mass shootings, uh, the war in uh, Ukraine. Just seems like death is all around us or there just seems to be no hope. But I want you to know that there is always hope and we should not be living in fear. That is no way to live. You know, that's what the enemy does. He wants to keep us afraid, fearful, locked up, away from one another. How do we combat this? We combat it with the word of God. We change those negative thoughts, those fearful thoughts with the word of God. Yes, we can read the word, we can meditate on the word, but there is power in your words. You have to speak the word of God over your life, over your situation, and in the atmosphere. And let the enemy know you're not going to be afraid. Today's lesson is fear comes to destroy. Let's see what it's talking about on today. Often fear comes as a dark feeling or just a sense of overwhelming tiredness, frustration, rejection, and isolation not wanting to be bothered with anyone. Have you ever felt like that? Just like, ah, leave me alone. Just don't want to be bothered. The enemy is trying to tell you the same thing, but you don't listen. Cast those thoughts down. Tell the enemy he is a liar and God's word is true. You can't afford to dance with the enemy for one second. Don't do it. Veto all those thoughts and send them right back to the pit of hell where they belong. Look back over your life and come out of agreement with unforgiveness. Ooh. So if we don't forgive, that means we are in agreement with it. Ooh. Come out of agreement with unforgiveness. What will happen if you forgive? Hmm, you'll be released. Confess it sincerely to God with holding nothing. I forgive, fill in the blank. I forgive blank for doing blank. Speak it, say it, you forgive. Learn to let go. Choose to love instead of unpleasantness. You know, sometimes when we're holding that unforgiveness, the anger and the grudges, we, we become angry, bitter, and unpleasant people to be around. That is not a way to live. Let it go. Don't allow anyone to have power over you. Sometimes medicine is finding joy and peace through the pain. You hear that? The cure, the medicine, finding joy and peace through the pain. How are you going to find it? You have to intentionally look for it. There you go. Whatever that situation is, you look for the joy and the peace. You look for the beauty in the struggle. You look for it. You want to learn from your mistakes, not dwell on them. Also to heal. We must be willing to take accountability for our actions. You know, we like to point the finger. We like to blame others and not take responsibility or accountability. What did you do? What didn't you do? Do a self-check, a 
heart check, self inventory. Make sure your heart is right with God. Forgiveness does not excuse the mess. It just helps you move on smoothly without recourse. Forgiveness is the key to obtaining an incredible life. What? Forgiveness is the key to an incredible life. So I have to forgive someone in order to have an incredible life? Is that what you're telling me? If you think about it in the long run, I mean, hey, when we close our eyes in death and we have that unforgiveness in our heart, that's definitely not going to be an incredible life in the hereafter. It's going to be a life of torture. Is holding on to that unforgiveness worth your eternal abode. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. It is not worth it. You're going to let what someone did to you take you to hell? Oh, no. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Forgiveness sets you free and removes unnecessary blockage and frustration that holds you captive until you decide to let it go. You see that? I've been saying that, I've been saying that. Release it so you can be free. Unforgiveness frees you and it removes the unnecessary blockage you have a blockage in your life if you are holding on to unforgiveness. You have frustration in your life if you are holding on to unforgiveness, the anger, the bitterness, blockages. Once you learn how to forgive, it will help you love yourself and add enjoyment to every day of your life. We're talking about that incredible life there's beauty in the struggle, but we're going to get to that incredible life by letting the unforgiveness go. Life is too short to be sitting around holding grudges, anger, and unforgiveness. There's too much going on in the world. We don't know when we're leaving here. So you mean to tell me you want to spend the rest of your days in unforgiveness? anger, and bitterness. Time is winding down. Confess what you are in fear of about to God. Didn't I say that last week? Confess it to God. Give God your heart. Tell him about it. He can handle it. Relinquish control. Mm. That's a hard one for some of us. The independence. You know, hey, I don't need nobody. You need someone. Yes, you do. But relinquish control. Let's do it God's way and get God's results. Put it all in the creator's hand. Let God handle it. Worship. Sing praises to God. Listen to things that cause fear to bow down. Simply trust God through the process. Trust him. He knows you. When he formed you in your mother's womb, he already knew your life's journey. He already knew all of the heartache, all of the pain, all of the trauma, all of the grief. He already knew because it was already mapped out and there must be a purpose for it. God, you tell God this, you God, I give you all of the problems, the blockage and the bondage that has had me blind in this situation and not willing to fully surrender to you. I renounce fear right now in the name of Jesus and move forward into new opportunities and new doors in Jesus' name, amen. God is not gonna show us anything new 
open up those doors, different avenues and ventures when we are holding on to all of this baggage. You got to let it go. Why? So that you can have that wonderful life in God. Finding you will be the best thing you ever did. I can agree 100%. I am free on today. I have forgiven my offender. And it was the best decision, the best thing that I could have ever done. Dig deep and get to the true identity called you. True happiness comes when you learn how to love yourself inside and out. Do you love you on today? Seriously, I know that there was a time in my life for, where I didn't, you know, I've shared that many times with you guys, you know, I didn't like myself, didn't like my name, thought I was ugly because I was a bully and the enemy planted all these lies and seeds in my mind. I believed them as truth when they were lies. I had to find out who I was in Christ. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? And do you love you? for who God created you to be. First John 4.18 says, love never brings fear, for fear is always related to punishment. But love's perfection drives the fear of punishment far from our hearts. Whoever walks constantly afraid of punishment has not reached love's perfection. Now, if we know that God loves us, he wants the best for us, we know that things are gonna happen, terrible things in our lives, but we should not fear. Or sometimes we could just think of the worst, that the worst outcome is going to happen. Why can't we think that the outcome is going to be good? Isn't that what Romans 8, 28 says? All things will work out for our good. All things, no matter how bad it looks, how impossible it seems, the worst of situations, God can and will turn it around for your good. Have you done this yet? Have you written down the name of everyone you need to forgive? Put them on a piece of paper, put it in your journal, put it in your notebook, put it in your Bible, list their names, what they did to you, and release yourself from that bondage. You have the strength, the power within you to do it if you want to. And you never know, God may just give you the opportunity to see that individual. And when you do, you will not get that funny feeling in your stomach. You will not try to run to the other side of the room. You may just be bold and courageous enough to go right up to them and say, hey, you know what? I forgive you for such and such. You never know how God will work it out in your life. But what's important is for you to release them so that you can have that wonderful life. What are your hobbies and what do you like to do? Do you have your joy? Because if you're walking around with anger and unforgiveness in your heart, where is the joy at in your life? What do you like to do? Hmm? What do you love about yourself? And what things do you dislike about yourself? Why do you dislike it? Hmm. I know growing up, you know, like as a teenager and a young child, you tend to compare yourself to others. But we should never do that. If you have daughters, granddaughters, nieces, Speak life into them and let them to know that they are special. They are one of a kind and they should not 
try to be like anyone else. They're unique and precious. But you have the opportunity to live that out before them. You know that? Yes, you do. Speak life to yourself as well. Do you know who you are, why you are here, and what's your purpose in life? That was a mouthful right there. We find our identity in Christ. I am God's child. I am God's chosen. I'm God's anointed. I'm God's appointed. I'm God's vessel. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I am the righteousness of God. It's like, I know who I am. A child of the king. Yes, I am. Do you know who you are? What are you good at? And what would you enjoy doing if you didn't get paid for it? What would that be? If it was something that you can do instead of your normal job, what would you enjoy doing and not get paid for it? Hmm, something to think about. Do you know? that you have some hidden treasures deep down on the inside of you. You do. They are in you. Your purpose is in you. The jewels are in you. Yes, treasures are in you, waiting to come forth. Do you value your life enough to get it right? To you, do you value your life enough to get it right? Say this out loud, I will not fear. I will not fear, I will not fear. Remember who you are. You are beautiful in his sight. You are a miracle waiting to happen. Wonderful, perfect, and blameless were you made in God's image. You should know that God has your back. You should always speak positively to yourself, always informing yourself that you are beautiful in his sight. Yes, you are. You are beautiful. You are incredibly beautiful in the Savior's eye can't tell you that enough if no one ever told you. You are beautiful. You are precious in God's eyesight. He is not like a man that you have to look a certain way or be a certain way. Learn to encourage yourself so you can encourage others. Encourage yourself. It has been told to me that you might be the only Jesus someone ever sees. And what do they see? Do they see someone smiling full of joy or they see a sad countenance all the time? You are someone's Bible. Here's a prayer for you. God, I will not fear because you are with me. You have signed, sealed, and delivered the victory. And all I have to do is work it out. I will not be scared of the fiery darts because you surround me with your protection. You are my mighty fortress. Fear, frustration, anxiety, and sickness have to bow at the name of Jesus. Your name is healing power and love. I will praise only you, Yahweh. You are the Prince of Peace. Jehovah Shalom, you are everything that I need. No longer will I try to live up to other people's standards of who they think I should be. I will walk with you in complete victory. I will not hide my gifts and my talents because of fear, but I will use them to better the kingdom of God. Lord, continue to work through me so I can live out my God-given dream and life. And Father, I release the individual who has harmed me, 
who has offended me. I release them, Father, to you in your wonderful hands. Father, I praise you on today for keeping me, strengthening me to walk this way. I thank you for your divine protection. I thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, and glory to your name. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.